Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this ain't the show for you. Now, this topic is a topic that is close to my heart. And because of this, I most likely will be doing a live stream, which I don't normally do today at 515 Central Standard Time. This video is made for educational purposes and out of fair use. I am using these clips and I'm going to talk about how today's modern day black women, in my most humble opinion, affect the mental health of black men in a negative way. So let me go ahead and play these clips and we'll go ahead and get started. One second, ladies and gentlemen, as I pull it up, we're going to learn something today. Let's get it. Packed. We truly have, you know, I wish women understood how deeply men hurt. Like having to watch a man completely break down over a woman that did nothing good for him. If anything, she took more from him than anything else. Like if, if women could actually understand how much power, how much impact we truly have on men. Exactly. Women have a lot of power over men who have become emotionally invested in them. A woman can tear a man's soul apart. She can go out and have babies with other men, get pregnant by other men, while she is still in a relationship with a good man, ripping his world apart. She can ask for a divorce simply because she's bored or for some other trivial matter, whatever bothers her, and destroy the family that that man built. Toxic women make men go through moments of depression. Did you hear me? You impact our strong black men in such a negative way that some men will choose to delete themselves, remove themselves from this planet because of a relationship that has failed. So women need to understand that don't approach decent men when you have not first addressed the traumas that you have went through in your own personal lives because you bring a lot of emotional baggage into relationships with us good men. This video is for men to protect men mindsets or minds from women who are poisonous to their souls. Let's keep going. Because it only takes like it only takes a man giving his everything to an ungrateful woman for him to truly lose himself to the point where the next woman that he comes across he can't even fully appreciate her because he's terrified that this woman is going to play the same tricks on him the same way the last one did. Exactly. Bingo. A lot of men are afraid of getting into relationships because of the risk. Men do not want to give all that they have. Men do not want to give you their souls damn near and risk their lives to protect you. Just because there is a strong chance that a woman may not be worth it that a woman may abandon him a woman may treat him bad this is one of the main reasons why men today are choosing to be with women only for recreational purposes only instead of real relationships because relationships today in this hookup culture is mostly transactional no man who works hard all his life wants to be with a woman that's going to break his heart, tear his family apart, and then spread vicious rumors about him because he chooses to leave you or because she chose to leave him and she doesn't want to see him happy. The majority of women today do not want to see their men happy. Like, do you, like I mean, I get it. It goes both ways. But you have to understand, a man hurts so many, so much differently than us women because when a man hurts, he feels it within his core. Because imagine this man just gave this woman everything and she turned around and betrayed him. Exactly. I often say that men love harder than women do because men will give their lives for their family or for the one that he believes is his wife who really loves him. Women do not do that. When someone break in, women turn to the men to go protect and to risk his life for the woman in the family. So therefore, I really believe men love harder because love from a man requires some type of sacrifice or the willingness to sacrifice his life. 
I want to cover these things about depression. I want to cover these things about how men are hurting right now, wanting to be with women. But you American black women, in my most humble opinion, are not worthy of men of substance because you are not feminine. You are not compromising, cooperative, and you do not care about no one else except yourselves. Let's keep going. I'm going to be real with y'all right now. Mm -hmm. Bro, it was like a month ago. Things were so heavy. So heavy. Maybe like two months ago. Two months. Yo, life was life in. Denzel, life was life in. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh, life was so heavy. Man, I was just going around places. And let me tell you why. I pulled up to the church, pulled up to the grocery store. I pulled up to some homies. What's crazy, all I really wanted was a hug. If somebody would have hugged me, I don't care who it was, if one person would have hugged me, I would have broke down crying. That I want you to hear what he just said. There are a lot of men who walk around today, black men, look strong, look like they got everything together, who are dealing with depression. I've had friends end their lives because of depression. In two of those cases, not three, two of those cases was because of a woman. Because a woman broke his world, was married, found out she was committing adultery, left him for the other man after he done spent years of investing in this woman and the child that he had. Many men, and this is going to sound funny and cliche, need a hug. Now, when I say hug, all that represents is someone showing that they care about him. In this world, as a black man, no one cares about us except immediate family, mama, daddy, and uncle, if you had a good family. But if a black man is struggling, they don't care. But if a black woman is struggling, everyone wants to come around, surround that woman, pamper her, cuddle her, tell her everything's going to be okay. This world is set up in favor of pleasing the woman instead of the man. Men need to be comforted as well men need to hear words of affirmation as well men need to be checked on as well call a black man today text a black man today let him know ladies that you're thinking about him gentlemen check on your black friends today your black gentleman friend let them know that you have a friend in me in case you ever need one because we need to hear that black men need to know that we have to stop being so divided and always be in our own worlds we don't care about nobody else except ourselves a lot of time and we have a person our neighbor struggling with depression contemplating removing himself from this world and women a lot of the times are the main reasons why a lot of men are depressed it ain't always economic, which I'm going to cover tonight. But a lot of times it's because he has chosen the wrong woman. That's how heavy I felt. I, that's how fragile I felt. If somebody would have hugged me, I would have broke down crying. A, a, a nigga was hurting. And it's one of those things where it's like, sometimes as, as men and women, we're not in a place to talk about it yet, but we just still need, like, we're crying out for help without crying out for help. So sometimes even if I see, like, I hug, I hug people all the time now because it's like, yo, you might just need a hug. You might not say it, but you might need a hug. So I say all that to say, bro, I remember that week. I was just like, yo, I, need, I just need a hug, dog. I never wanted a hug so bad in my life. <laughs> Straight up. That's some deep stuff, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, the mental health of our black men is an issue, and we need to address that. So I'm going to stay on what I say about the women right quick. I'm going to bring up another clip. It's a sad clip. All these things are sad to me, actually. Let's play it. Do you understand that your mouth, your voice, your words are connected to the coils in his heart, to the vows in his heart? He can't help but love you. And every time you dishonor that love, 
you chip a piece of it. Chip a piece of it. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. Facts. In our culture, especially in African culture, that it is true. At a certain age, the men will come get the black boys to teach them how to be men. Because if you leave a boy around a mama long enough, he's going to pick up feminine ways. Doesn't mean that he's um, homosexual or anything like that. It just means that he's going to start seeing the world through the eyes of a woman. He's going to be emotional like a woman. This is why so many so-called thugs and gangbangers are quick to hurt you, put their hands on you because they are emotionally without any restraint. A real man would teach a boy how to be strong. Now, let me tell you something. An example. A little boy falls down and scratches his knee up. Blood everywhere. Mama come in, swoop in. Oh, baby, it's okay. Let me put something on it and, you know, and, and cuddle him. Here, eat some ice cream or something. Trying to make him feel good. Just show all this abundance of emotion. He's soaking that in. So whenever something bad happened to him, he's going to become as emotional as his woman, as his mother taught him to be. A father sees the same boy who fall down and scratch his knee up. He'll come up there, wipe off the blood, make sure, put a Band-Aid on it. It's okay, boy, you're all right. Now get out there and play. Teaching that boy that hardships will come in life. Things going to happen to you, son, but you can't be emotional about it. You can't cry over it, son. You just take that on the chin and you keep going. Now go out there and play, boy. A different way of showing love to that child. This is why fathers are important, ladies. All you helpers out there talking about, I don't need no man. You a damn fool. You are a damned fool them children daughters too need a man because all you're going to do is make and breed weak men like pookies who don't have no discipline and have absolutely no self-control but since we don't live in our culture no more we say what we want to say do what we want to say we tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers mothers destroy sons his mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. Every time I watch that clip, when I tell you I get chills. It honestly reminded me of this post that Tashina Arnold made in 2022, where she posed the question, what can we as black women in America do to stop aiding in the emasculation of black men in America? And how Miss Ayanna described it, we don't realize the power of the tongue. We have the power to tear down or build up our men. The scriptures say that a wise woman builds up her health, but a foolish woman tears it down. And every time we talk down to our men, every time we curse them out, we disrespect them, we call them out their name, we aid in the emasculation emasculation of them our men are literally already at the bottom of the bottom today they literally have to go out every day and fight blood sweat and tears with the world they shouldn't have to go home and fight part two with their wives one way we can stop doing this is by controlling that mouth stop talking down to him stop nagging him if you upset take a minute to catch your breath and relax because it doesn't just affect that man let's say you have chosen by that man his children are also going to be affected by that his son and his son like it goes down the generations and i don't care how beautiful you are or think you are your finest will never overrule your disrespect she spoke the truth women causes emotional reactions to the way that they talk to their men when you act like you want to be passive aggressive you don't want to hear what we have to say you telling us that you don't respect or love us. It's, you should never say that to someone who is emotionally attached to you. Keep going. This is going to be a short clip here. But he says truth. It's young Jeezy. You're a black man, black or brown man. And you get to a certain age, nobody cares about you no more. Right. He is right. Nobody cares about you when you get to a certain age. Majority of the time, the world doesn't care about your problems. You have to make your way. But with women, when they get to a certain age, they always get an abundance of people who will still care for them no matter what it is. But for men, we're not allowed to fail. When we fail, the world laughs at us. When a woman fails, they always say it was somebody else's fault. You're a black man, black or brown man. You get to a certain age, nobody cares about you no more. Right. Nobody cares. Right. If it ain't your family, nobody in the world cares that you succeed or that you're happy, or that you're healthy or you're any of them yeah. things, right? So you have to do that yourself. You have to set yourself up. 
I agree with what he said. Now, I'm going to play something there, show you some clues. If a man you know, a black man, is dealing with depression, hopefully it will make you call that person, that black man, or any man of color. This is not just about black people. I'm talking to the people in my community because I'm black. Duh. So here's some other things I'm going to put up there for you right now. So things that you can notice when a black man needs help. Stops coming around. Wow. That's a big sign. Yeah. Like, you know, I haven't seen so-and-so in a while. You saying that, you need to check in on so-and-so. Yeah. yeah. For real. If you haven't seen them in a while and you, you used to seeing them, you need to check in on them. When you see them, weight gain or weight loss, like an extreme amount. There's an extreme amount of weight loss. What's going on, bro? You're not eating? I've lost 25 pounds since my daughter was born. Yeah, that's <laughs> depression, bro. Yeah. When I was depressed, I lost like 15 pounds and I was already yeah. skinny, bro. Yeah. I was like, probably like maybe like 150 around the time. When I got depressed, I went right, right down to 135. I looked like a teenage, like I was already, I was still a teenager, but I looked like I had a 13 year old body. Mm. Like I was looking real skinny. So that's a real sign. Like, man, we will stop eating. A lot of men will stop eating. Mm. Like a lot of men don't stress eat. We stop eating. Right. Like, or we'll just eat crap. And we're not, we're not, it's not allowing us to sustain our, our body weight. So that's another sign, like changes in body weight, fluctuation, that kind of thing. Um, if you're in their home, how does their home look? Mm -hmm. it's, it's stuff all over the place. Now, some of us are messy as men. I'm not going to judge anybody. All right. But if you're seeing like weeks worth of garbage and like, Things just aren't taken care of, and smells and dishes piled up. That's a that's a sign. Like, this person's not taking care of themselves. They're not doing the basics of taking care of their environment. So, why? Right. You gotta start asking. You gotta start thinking. Like, why are they not able to take care of their environment? Are they just messy? All right, cool. If you're messy, that's a hygiene thing. You need to work on it. But if it's not that you're just messy, and this is not normally how you are, why is this? What's going on? Exactly. Check on your brothers. Check on them. Check on them. See, ladies, as a help meet, you're supposed to be a soft place for men to retreat to. But you're so masculine now that men cannot retreat to you. Think about what I just said. I blame most of y'all females. Y'all feel like y'all man can never be sad. I feel like as females, we need to take a stand be like, yo, babe, you're good? How are you feeling today? I haven't asked you, like, what do you want? Like, how can I make your life better today? Like, ask your men certain things to make him feel comfortable. Let him feel like, okay, you know what? I can go to her. Let me tell her, yo, let me tell her what. Exactly. How many women out there are actually making it seem as if a man can go to them with their vulnerabilities? Women today mock our vulnerability. They ridicule. They judge. They're very judgmental. You're not a man. Judgmental. Women, you are letting us down. Tell her what happened at work today. Let me confide in her and say certain things to her. Because as a partner, you're supposed to be able to build each other up. And I feel like as females, we need to take that role. Yo, babe, you're good? You need anything? Like, how your mental health? Like, females, take a step into that. And you'll see a change. We're not going to tell a lie. So you're not one of those girls that be like, you're Before, acting Before, like I wasn't. But now... Getting older. If my man come me and babe, you're good. You all right? How you been today? Don't touch me like that. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like make him feel you know good with himself. Even, right, right, it's right, not right. only right, right. it's not only sex that can make your man feel good or buy like a gift. Ask your man certain questions. It, it will though. It will. But you know, it there's will. other things. Oh my god, I'm tired. I hate when people start joking when it ain't the right time to joke. But on um, yeah, the lady's making a point. Sex is not the only thing that makes a man feel good. We want to know that you actually are there for us. And the thing is, you're letting us know that everything you do with us is transactional. So that tells us that you're not there for us. So mental health is a real serious problem. And women are some of the biggest contributors to negative mental health in black men, in my most humble opinion. Now, I may be doing a live stream today at 515 Central Standard Time, man, covering depression. So if you get an opportunity, check me out. Anyone that's welcome to call in today and this will be the last video for today i got so much stuff to do i'll talk to you later take it easy